everyone, welcome back to my channel In Search of the Magic. Uh, I'm so excited for this video. Um, I don't even know where to start to be honest. So this video is a trip announcement mixed in with the essentials for packing for going to Disneyland Paris. Um, a couple of them are essential for just being in France in general. Um, so let's jump in with the trip announcement. I am going on the Sarah Louise Porter outgoing, we are outgoing coach trip in June with my Disney sister, Matcha Brownie, uh, Instagram, Instagram, um, <laughs> we are so excited, it's for her Hendu, um, we booked on the base of a joke, I was like, you need a Hendu, and she's like, yeah, I kind of do. And then the joke got legs and ran away and we've now booked uh, a special hi to Sarah Louise, a special hi to everyone in the group uh, who's already booked on. Um, a special thank you to Chloe, also going to add her Instagram here uh, for sending me a link to the most amazing uh, Disney bag, uh, Winnie the Pooh backpack from the Disney store that is perfect for my Winnie the Pooh bound for while we're there. Um, yeah, so excited. I can't believe it because I said that there was going to be no Disney trips this year. None at all. We weren't going to any Disney parks this year. We were going to save up and then next year we were going to have a big trip somewhere like California or Shanghai, uh, maybe Tokyo. Uh, the only one that was definite not would have been Orlando because just, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought I would make a trip announcement video. Uh, I'm gonna do a few videos like on how I prepare for the holiday. Um, sort of like so maybe some things that I pick up along the way. I've already picked up a few bits. Uh, and as they arrive in the post, I might do uh, some videos on like how I've put my bounds together. Uh, one of my dresses I've had for a while from EMP, and I know that they that's no longer in stock. But um, you know I can still show you, which will be fun. Um, I don't have much style, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so yeah, so moving on to the essentials list, um, it's quite. A big list really because there are some things that you really need to think about taking with you because they're really difficult to get whether it's just because you are on resort or whether it's because you're in France and the main thing is like a proper first aid kit uh, you can go to first aid in the park uh, it's right by Plaza Gardens uh, on the right hand side at the end of Main Street as you're facing the castle uh, if you really need uh, anything, uh, plasters, uh, you've cut something, even if you have a headache they can give you like one dose uh, of some paracetamol or something. Um, but if you need more, you can't just go to a shop and buy it. It's not like going into a corner shop here and they have paracetamol or ibuprofen, you have to go to a pharmacy, that's, the, the, there's, it's one stop away on the train and if you're feeling unwell you're not really going to want to make that journey, or worse you've got unwell children, <laughs> um, so yeah, the painkillers, uh, sickness tablets, I suffer horrendously with motion sickness so I uh, rely heavily on uh, one called Sturgeon, which is amazing. I'm very nervous about going across on the ferry. <laughs> very nervous. Uh, <laughs> uh, Moisturiser, lip balm, hand sanitizer, anti-back wipes. All these things just go into a little first aid kit for me. And it's great. I mean, the, the one thing that I found that with, with Disneyland, you know, you, you never find that... Um, there's no soap in the toilet or you can't dry your hands properly or anything like that so washing your hands isn't necessarily an issue but 
it's it's nice to have it with you. Uh, the anti-back wipes um, are useful for all sorts of things, you know. Uh, maybe if you've just witnessed someone sneeze on the handrail or something. <laughs> Um, sun cream, again, this is really expensive to buy on site. Um, feminine products, really expensive to buy on site. You can get them from your hotel shop, but you know, you're looking at like seven euros or more for a small pack. Um, ibuprofen gel or Voltarol gel. Uh, this stuff is amazing for those tired theme park feet. It's the best tip anyone ever gave me and it used to be when I used to go to Whitby Goth weekend. Uh, you'd get back in and you'd been wearing um, these massive great big goth boots all day. I mean I still have a few pairs of them and they're so heavy and your feet are so tired and they're so sore because you've been walking all day and then dancing all night and so I was like have you ever put ibuprofen gel on your feet no what is this magic and it is it's literal magic it's amazing I've switched to Voltrol gel now uh, because it's what I get on prescription uh, from the GP for my knees anyway so it's exactly the same well it's not exactly the same stuff it's diclofenic rather than ibuprofen I'm mumbling I'm gonna stop there uh, just something really really useful food bags so useful you won't believe how useful these are you go on a water ride you don't want your ears to get wet you shove them in a food bag you buy some snacks in bulk so you can have them back at the hotel room when you get back with your free coffee that you get with your magic pass Just shove them in a food bag you know, and they stay fresh for the entire day rather than the little pa paper bags that they give you. You want to take some snacks home with you. Food bags. Brilliant. I go everywhere with food bags now. <laughs> um, gum. Chewing gum. If you are a gum chewer, you can't buy it in Disney. Uh, this is across the Disney parks. You might have seen this on like strange things that are barred from Disney and blah 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 and you're just like why didn't I think to bring some with me? I'm a massive gum chewer and it stops me from eating like overeating so I always have it with me so yeah if you like to chew gum you need to take it with you but please please put it in a bin please I beg you don't stick it on something <laughs> Uh, water bottle this will save you a fortune it's like three euros fifty per bottle of water if you're gonna buy a bottle of water in the in the park um, it's still like two euros for a bottle of water if you go out into the train station so if you take a water bottle with you I've dotted around the parks are water fountains now during the winter they turn a few of the fountains off that are outside but the ones that are inside that are like in the arcades so either side of main street there's two arcades uh, that run parallel to main street that are inside and on both sides there is a water fountain about halfway up the other one that is usually still turned on is the one just at the side of Toad Hall. It's technically outside but it's sheltered and sometimes that one's still turned on. And I believe there is one inside in the studios, the toilets, out uh, next to the toilets, uh, next to Ratatouille. Uh, it's just, it saves your fortune. Uh, I need to wrap up because apparently my memory card's nearly full. I'm having really bad luck with this whole camera thing. I'm quite new to this, you may have noticed. Uh, yeah, so this is my, uh, very quickly, this is my favourite lip balm at the moment. It's a little Mickey emoji head. Uh, and you can get this from the range. I'm going to see if there's a link that I can give to you. And it folds out and it tastes just, tastes and smells like the ice cream bars you get in Orlando. I don't know if you can get them in Disneyland in Anaheim as well. You can't get them in Paris, which is annoying because I really, 
really want one now. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, what was I talking about? Water bottles, yeah, Sa saves lots of money. Uh, the other thing uh, that is really useful, and this is like for your hotel room, obviously don't forget your phone chargers, camera chargers, battery chargers. <laughs> Um, in my case the cable for my ring light um, if I want to film in the hotel room which I probably will uh, extension plugs so like the the strip of plugs I haven't got one to hand that's not plugged into things um, the strip of plugs that you can get um, if you're staying in Cheyenne Newport Bay or when Hotel New York reopens, there is one plug that is the UK plug. Um, but everywhere else you're going to need an adapter. An adapter is probably still a good idea to take anyway. But this way you only need one adapter. And then you can like plug five, six things into this extension cable. Uh, and you can charge all of your devices. Uh, the other thing that's really useful is the boxes with the all the USB things in. Um brilliant for, for getting everything charged. <sighs> yeah, I think that's everything that is like, to me, essential. Uh, ooh, hair conditioner. Uh, the, the toiletries that the hotels provide are brilliant, um, but only like the Disneyland Hotel gives you conditioner for your hair. And even when they do, it's like this tiny little bottle. There's a lot of hair here that has been bleached for the last 15 years. It needs some help. It needs, it needs my supreme. Uh, so yeah, conditioner and your more sort of like your more basic toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrush, and all that. Again, it's just expensive to buy on site. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up um, because I only had like four minutes left of screen time. <laughs> Uh, I really hope that this was useful um, and I cannot wait to join everybody on this trip in June. It's going to be so much fun and I will link all of the information in the description bar below. Um, hopefully where to find the uh, lip balm, like my favourite sun creams. Uh, moisturizer uh, like a first aid kit stuff like that I will link in the description box as well as all the information on the Sarah Louise Porter trip uh, and to her uh, YouTube channel as well thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video which who knows when will that will be <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye